The National Three Peaks Challenge involves climbing the three highest peaks of Scotland, England and Wales. The total walking distance is 23 miles, 37 kilometres, and the total ascent is 3,064 metres, 10,052 feet. The total driving distance is 462 miles. The three mountains are Ben Nevis in Scotland at 1,345 metres, Scarfell Pike in England at 978 metres and Snowdon in Wales at 1,885 metres. I'm going to attempt to climb each mountain barefoot for the charity Calm, which is the campaign against living miserably. And this hike is in memory of Paul Warburton. Rest in peace. Let's go. Uh, how do you feel, Joseph? I feel worried. I've got trepidation. <laughs> worried. Uh, Trepidation, nervous. Nervous, yeah, yeah. unprepared. Unprepared. I, all, all the sort of things you want to feel before you do something like the three peak challenge when you've got a mate with no shoes on. Yeah, and that's then that's coming from my support, support crew there, crew. so yeah, yeah. let's go. Do it, say, ah, and then we're finished. Earlhouse, come on, we're going. We've had enough. <laughs> right, let's see. Let's see if we can just do one mountain barefoot. I don't even think I'll get halfway, TBH, because just a backstory, I've just finished the Cape Raft Trail and I did have some good calluses on my feet, but they've all come off because my feet were so wet uh, throughout the whole trail that big lumps of skin came off. So my feet are a bit tender, but I'll give it my best shot. This is it, brother, right? Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on. Come on. I should stay off grass. I should use this bit to warm up, actually. But look at how beautiful it is as well. Bonnie Scotland. Yeah, at least it's not raining. Yeah, and it's not raining. Welcome back to Bonnie Scotland. Right, we're um, pretty much at top. We've uh, we've done it. <laughs> we're at top of uh, first, first bit. Uh, uh, Snowden. This is Snowden. We have battery felt, battery cut out for the rest of it, but <laughs> trust me, we did it. Thanks for the support. <laughs> we're half an hour in. Feet check. So far, so. Dusty, there's no no rouge. Just dusty, no blood, so we're all right. So we're just, the, the terrain at the moment is just this, <laughs> like a gravelly path, which is good sort of warming up to warm up on. And then you get the delights of these bigger stones and it's just a mixed bag. Green Power Ranger. So, just found this. Probably not gonna not gonna forage it, like, cause there's no need. But look at that. It's a good photo. Is that? In fact, yeah, it is a good photo. At least we've got to see views like this as he crumbles underfoot. Look how it bounces in the lake. Absolutely stunning, man. Oh yes. <laughs> oh joy. The joy of the steps. We're doing it, we're over halfway. We're doing it. We're nowhere near over halfway when you think about it though, are we? Yeah. He's shaking his head, mate, he's dead certain. Well over halfway now, we're just getting slowly enveloped by these clouds. So we've stopped for a flapjack break. Feet look okay. So far, so good. The game has changed. These, uh, it's been a lot more angular, these stones, for the last while. And they hit different. They don't half stick into the bottoms of your feet in between your heel and the ball of your foot. Are we on we go. Real talk. 
it's getting hard now. Guys, really difficult on feet. Feet are hurting. It's, it's been this sharp stuff for a long time. And uh, it is like getting comboed in bottom of feet by a miniature Mike Tyson with sharpened fists. <laughs> Remember Killer Instinct? Uh, like E Honda just going at it. <laughs> e Honda going at it like that. Right, here we are, lollipop lad. <laughs> lollipop lad, <laughs> checking in. I'm struggling, I'm struggling, guys. Right, it's stunning views, regard here. But, I'm afraid. I... It's just these, it's just this scree, it's just kicking the living dicks out of the middle of my feet. And, uh, I real talk, don't think I'm gonna be able to do three peaks, I don't think. I'm going to do everything in my power to get to the top of this one without tapping out and then put shoes back on to run back down get to Scarfield, see how we feel but the, the only thing I'm going to try and do is do Ben Nevis barefoot I'll try and do that to make your donations worth it How are you feeling Joseph? So far, alright <laughs> Don't want to jinx it mate Don't want to jinx it but so far, alright there's still, there's still a way to go so just gonna neck a couple of ibuprofen, have some water, and then we'll crack on. Deployed, deployed Joey's uh, staffs. Just take a bit of pressure off the feet, and it's helping with balance a little bit. But still, whew, it hurts, lads and lasses. Make no mistake about it. Off the back of how painful and hard this is, everyone. Can I just do this? <laughs> Are we having this as just, can I just do the highest mountain in the UK barefoot and he's doing it and I've done it. If I get to the top, because I'm really, a, I can't do all three guys. It's been too soon after Kate Raff and it's knacking feet up. I've bitten off more than I can chew and it's not, you know, I'm not afraid to admit defeat. I am, I don't like admitting defeat, but a good friend of mine said it might do me well to admit defeat once, you know what I mean? I like just finally just accept defeat, mate. Accept these feet are quitting! <laughs> yeah? <laughs> He's having that look. He's smiling. I'm having it. We found a patch of moss, probably the only bit of moss. Oh my god! <laughs> So nice. Oh, I could cry. I could feel that all through my body. This is the summit of Ben Nevis. <laughs> I can't believe it. I've done it, guys. I'd just like to thank everyone for sponsoring me. It's been an absolutely epic journey. Yeah. I've, str I've struggled at times, but I've come through it. Yeah. And here we are, the summit of Ben Nevis. Get a photo <laughs> for Instagram. <laughs> I've made it. Shoes on, or off, back down. Panther Summit! <laughs> the sun has now fully disappeared but it's still giving us a little bit of a warm orange glow and that down there clippity cloppity clankity coming up the hill is Mr. Hayes outdoors <laughs> somehow still managing to this is craziness. put one foot in front of the other? Look at this! The summit of Ben Nevis, everybody! <laughs> I've done it! I've made it! This is jokes, mate. Ah. Probably steepest bit we've had for a while there. Hardest bit, this man. This is bonkers. Temperatures dropped dramatically now that the sun's gone behind the clouds. It's not quite jacket weather though because the pain keeps you hot, <laughs> keeps you sweaty. 
I dare, I dare to dream, guys. I, oh, it's a fault. It's another false summit, though. So, there's your dreams. Looks like it's gonna be dark by the time you get to the top. Oh mate, it just keeps going. That little black sort of dot over there is the top. I'm gonna do. We're gonna do it. We're gonna make it. And I'll be honest, there was times back there where I thought I wasn't going to make it. And there's still, I mean, it's still jagged rock, isn't it? It's uh, pretty crazy underfoot. But I'm going to do this one. That's the goal, is just to get to the summit of Ben Nevis barefoot. And then we're going to try and do the rest of the three peaks, however it comes, even if with shoes on. <laughs> Are we at top yet? On a pain scale, yeah. is this the most painful thing you've ever done? Uh, no. I think it's up there for sure, but it's not like it's not like breaking a bone or anything, something like that. But it's just that as far as like consistent pain, yeah, this is up there, like because all these stones are so jagged that. <laughs> Well, I can't explain it, man. I feel like I'm going delirious. <laughs> going absolutely delirious with it. Sweaty and all that. But once we get there, that's an achievement unlocked, isn't it? Don't get lured in by that moss in that crevice, man, look. there's a bit of moss. I'm off. <laughs> the sweet relief of tumbling off a cliff, off a mountain. I'll take it. I'll take it. That little bit where I'm not walking on jagged stones before, I eat jagged stones at the bottom, but you didn't. Oh, loads of cans. Where are you and Ken? Let's have a, just have a quick, quick look at... Um, don't go too near to edge. Quick look at way down. Ooh, don't go too near. Come back away from there. That is, a, that is a nasty fall, mate. Wow. Beyond nasty, that, mate. That's log off, password, delete, all that. We're just, just milling around on some of the highest mountain in the UK, half ten with no shoes on. What are you up to, like? <laughs> He's laughing at that one there, uh, yeah. Whew. Positive mental attitude, you get your so far. Still got jokes. He's still got jokes. PMA. I'll get you so far, but then at some point you have to admit defeat, and that's the thing. To be honest, guys, I am going to get, this is my limit, I think, <laughs> climbing this mountain barefoot is me done. Right, for anyone who watches, I'll, uh, I'm going to leave a little link in, in the top of the screen now to watch a video where me and Northern Monk came and brewed a beer on the top of Ben Nevis. Sounds mad, but it, it happened. Click on, click on that if you want to see us brewing a beer at the top of Ben Nevis. Fully shoed, shoes on at lock, delightful. I've done some, done some stuff like, but this rate, this rate's up there. <laughs> this is up there. Yeah, like. it's quite, it's quite interesting up here, isn't it? It's got all sorts of wacky oh, stuff mate, going on. Wacky memorials and uh, that hut's brilliant to have a look in. Stub my tail on this bit. <laughs> in your face. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, I'm just gonna stay here. I quit. <laughs> nice, mate. Nice effort. Right, that's one done. That's uh, Ben Nevis, the Easy, highest, it? highest of the three peaks. Done, barefoot. Easy. And it's in. I just want to shout out. Uh, it's in memory of uh, Paul Wall, Paul Warburton. Rest in peace. This one, this one was for you, mate. Rest in peace, brother. Salute. Let's get back down. <laughs> you see us? It's just lights. We're just a couple of lights now. <laughs> Ricky Martin. There we are, Ricky Martin. See it moon behind me? La moon. La moon. Uh, whew, we just got past, <laughs> we've just got past the halfway mark. Making good time down. We're not doing too many updates on the way back because we're just smashing it to try and get back to the truck and, and uh, get off to the Lake District. So we'll, we'll update you in a bit.
on our way to Scarfell, got a few miles under our tyres and um, we're covered in midge bites, it's foggy and it's very early in the morning so we're going to try and find some coffee, try and give ourselves a little bit of a boost before heading to the Lake District. The damage report is not too bad, the bottom of my right foot hurts a little bit, nothing else to report really as far as pain goes, what about you? So far I don't feel too bad actually, don't feel too stiff which I was worried about, I mean you know, the truth will kick in when start <laughs> ascending again. Of a cattle grade, we're, uh, we're officially in it. We're tired. Oh. We're tired, but we're in the Lake District, and we're ten minutes away from the from where we want to be, from the bottom of Scarfell Pike. And the weather looks delightful. Here we are at the start of Scarfell Pike. Ow! It hurts. It hurts after Ben Nevis, just getting getting back on horse. No expectations on this one though, guys. I, I didn't even think I'd get to uh, the top of Ben Nevis, to be honest. And I, I'm just going to try and get halfway up this one and see how we get on. I'm not putting too much pressure on myself. We'll see. I'll give it my best shot. Film me bantering. It stinks. My banter. My banter. Yeah. Why are you laugh at it then? Why is everyone laughing at it so much? I'm laughing at you, mate. I've got the top. I've got the best banter on this mountain. Mountain banter. Look at him. Very strong. This bit's not nice, like. Right? Feel a little bit sick, but we're doing it. We're actually doing it again. Again. That's Lake Lake at the Lake at the Lake at thou. Like that is Lake at thou. Ruining, ruining perfectly good B-roll there, mate. Lake app, that making it better. <laughs> Tip top, Harry. Yeah? You're, the, you're the walker, Harry. You were a walker. You're the wanker, Harry. Virgie bits if you can. Ask me advice. When you can. You cook an egg on these rocks. Latch and lock. This is a nice latch and lock. Still in the bit. In the depths of this pain, I still bring you this wonderful shutting system. It's just a natural rock. It's actually the chain. It does the job for you. Beautiful stuff. Foot report. Raw, red raw, and um, bruised. Is well, just ligament damage, really. Not the skin isn't broke. As long as the skin ain't broke, neither am I. And that's toxic masculinity for you. <laughs> it's deep. <sighs> Feet are swollen a bit round ankles and that. Caught sun. <laughs> A bit raw, a bit raw. Oh, it feels good though. It feels good. Chortle McBanter wagon has left the building and it's just replaced with me a husk of a man. <laughs> Just trying to get to the top of the hill with her shoes on like an absolute donut weapon. Can't do it. Bitten off more than I can chew again. It's just too much. Too much, guys. After the Cape Wrath Trail and Ben Nevis, it's just too much. Feet are hurting, man. Yeah, even my feet are hurting now. The 
summit of Scarfell Pike. It's, it's very um, slopey. The summit of Scarfell Pike. <laughs> the summit of Scarfell Pike. No. <laughs> well, Something to do with math, maths, geometry, tickle of the eye. Just tell me what you think of this grass, mate. Oh, this grass has been a godsend, this bit. You still hit the old stone, but it's nothing compared to the main path, mate. Do you feel like you, there's a chance you might do this mountain? Um, yeah. If I'm being honest with you, Joseph, I think there's a... Oh, he's let that positivity creep in. Has he let it creep in a little bit early? I think, yeah, no. Uh, I think I'm going to fail miserably. Oh, but his face doesn't say that, does I, it? What I think is I've come too far to quit. And if Sarah sees me quit, I'm done for. So this is for Sarah. The pure shame of it would just... The shame of it just inspired me for this that last little bit because she said, I was like, I think I might quit at some point. And she's like, well, you can't. All oh, right. She yeah. said you won't. You she won't. said you'll do it. You will do it, yeah. She was very encouraging and positive and it's yeah. rubbed off on me. So let's take some of that and use it. Let's go. Oh, even sharp, he's under, hidden under grass, like little, little landmines. This is Sarah. She's doing a hundred consecutive ascents of Scarfell Pike, and she was a legend, and she inspired me. So go follow her on Instagram, and if you're still doing it, please support. Thanks, Sarah, if you're watching. You're a legend. It hurts. <laughs> yeah, you got this, mate. I've run out of grass to, to walk on. Let's look at this. Hard, loose, sharp. Ouch. This is what is to come. Seems like it has saved the best till last. <laughs> or the worst if you've got no shoes on. There's no, there is no easy way now. It's just over the sharp rock. It's either over the sharp rock or you go out or you stop. Like that's it now. And my palms have started sweating like they were on Ben Nevis. And my, it's like my body's just telling me to stop. It's like sweaty and saying, Wah, guan, brother. I thought we'd learn our lesson after the Cape Raft Trail. I thought we were going to go have an holiday. I thought we were going to have a break. Well, no. No body. We're not. No legs. No feet. We're not. This is just, it's like, it's like a horrible maze and not, like no way is the right way. There's a lot of loose stuff in there. Yeah, a lot of sharp stuff. You don't want to have a tumble or just put your foot wrong. So it does take a lot of mental, uh, it takes a lot of mental, like, concentration and it saps you in that way too. Well, it's these medium ones that are the lol, lol bandits. You can see it now, mate. <laughs> Woo! Oh my God, we're nearly there. Enjoy a deal account for how down and out I was yesterday. We were like, no way we're gonna get that done because the pain is and I can't believe I'm back in that zone now. There we are. Well, here we are again. There's the top. Oh. Ah. <laughs> oh my god, I feel a bit emotional. No, no, no. Save it. Save it. Hold. Hold. Because of having no sleep and that. Oh. And you know, do it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> there you go. Woo! Yes, you mate. Go. There's another one for you, Paul Warburton. Another one for you, brother. <laughs> Treat him to a 360. Go, give him a 360. They deserve it for sticking with us this long. Uh, Let me get some shoes on, lad. Get my shoes on, brother. Wow. This is the top of uh, Scarfell, mountain number two. We're just going to have a little uh, foot inspection for all you foot fetishes out there oh i've got lovely high arches oh what do you think of them <laughs> look like um i don't know tutankhamun's feet or something don't they yeah what's the other one 
Well, it's just a similar story. <laughs> Didn't two and car moved it three Uh Yeah, just saw, man. Real saw. Yeah. No blood. No blood. Not broke my skin. No the toes are, the toes are breaking up. blisters, but... So that's peak number two done. We've just come off the summit. Midges are getting us. Joe's just lathering himself up. There's my support team. He's come good for me. He's looking after me. He's doing the filming. He's uh, yeah, he's, he's doing good for me. He's our Joseph. Surviving. So he's, he's surviving. <laughs> he's basically just surviving. That's it. But we saw a little plunge pool, didn't we, on the way up? Yes. And we said if we make it, we'll get down and we'll sit and we'll just sit in there for 10 minutes, 15 minutes. That's our reward. And cool our bones, so. Reinvigorate our bones! Bone bones, bones! Oh. It's cold! It's cold, guys! <laughs> it's an infinity pool! Oh, it feels so good on the feet! Oh, on the legs and oh! Yes, brother! <laughs> Get in here. Doing all nature stuff. You know what I mean? Grounding ourselves. Cool. <laughs> Grounding, cold water therapy, all trendy shit. I've just stood on a thistle. Not that, that matters anymore. I slide down here. It's nice little slide in. There you go. Come in here. You've got your little waterfall there. But we've been sat in there. And it's just a natural massage. That's what, that's all. There's Joey, do you look? Oh, looks like, like Jesus. But it's nice just to get, just to get that level of like grit and sweat off you. Soothe the feet. I don't want to be letting my feet get too wet because that'll maybe weaken the bottom of them, but nice to have a wash. <laughs> this is the reward for getting to the top of Scarfell Pike. What a lovely swim that was. Delightful. We're walking back down in undies. <sighs> and, uh, but now... <laughs> well, now I'm but my underpants. So yeah, unless something magic or tragic happens, we shall see thee in Wales. What have you got out else to add, Joe? How's your knee holding up? That seems to do a lot of good for it, that cold dip. Yeah, it was beginning to swell after that descent again. It's all, it's all a descent. Yeah. Um, okay, mate. It's Pretty okay. Far. So along the Lake District, the English Lake District. <laughs> Off to beautiful Wales. Beautiful Wales. Are you feeling confident about my number three? No, because confidence is the killer. That'll do you. I don't feel too confident. Just a little bit quietly optimistic. Yeah. Quietly optimistic. Well, two are in the bag. Because today wasn't on the cards. Today wasn't supposed to go down how it went down. No, I'd say it went down better than well, probably no, any of us thought. Yeah. Uh, chums. Chums. It's our little bridge. Get film this little bridge because it's the littlest bridge. Uh, it's famous for being little. About to do Snowden, Joe's just putting his CBD muscle rub on his knee, and that was kindly donated to us. Oh, it so smells amazing! So, smell Woo! that is nice. Got sweet almond oil, coconut oil, hemp oil, shea butter, beeswax, peppermint, lavender. Perfect, and that was kindly sent to us. Can I just take that? Yeah. Kindly sent to us with some CBD oil and some CBD patches and some other bits and pieces from Kent CBD. It's an independent company. They've kindly given me a discount code for for you guys if you wanna if you wanna get into uh, your CBD oils. Put a little bit under your tongue. It's good for sleep. It's good for your muscles and joints, anxiety, things like that. They would kindly give us a uh, a discount code. So yeah, I'll leave it downstairs. Uh, Kent CBD. Oh, morale is low. Morale is low for me. Because my feet hurt more than I thought they would. I thought you'd never see it. I 
Gracias a todos los dos. Snowden, the final of the three peaks. Some painkillers. I'm gonna don the shirt. Which we'll talk about when we get to the top because my feet are in morale is pretty low because I thought it was gonna be easy yesterday when I was on one, but my feet are killing so it's going to be another tough day, but well, this is what we're doing it for. So we're going to grit our teeth. So the bottoms of my feet aren't too bad. They're quite seasoned in, a bit sore in the middle. But the tops of my feet, my ankles are all very swollen. My ankles and feet don't, know, don't normally look like that, so... Hopefully they can hold out. Jaggy bits that grow out of the ground if you, if you look at them when you come past. They're no fun. They're no fun at all. You have to ease into it. Yeah, we're serious now. We have to finish because the calm vest is on. Campaign against living miserably. It's got serious. It's got serious, yeah. I'm not going to do much jokes because I feel. I've got to dig deep for this one, but I'm going to leave a link below to the charity. Support if you can, thank you. Calm baby, keep calm baby. So there's these bits which are, there is no nice way to get up and rid of the ah. But, looks like we might be doing it, we might get to the top I think. All barefoot. Yeah, all barefoot, yeah. Oh, for God's sake, man. Fair play to you, jockey. Tommy! Well, this is the last of the three peaks, mate, so. Is it? Oh, yeah, yeah, we're uh, <laughs> running on minimal sleep. <laughs> and there we are. That's our destination. That's the goal. Swimming in there on the way back. Calm campaign against living miserably. It's like a mental health charity. Oh, nice. amazing! Yeah, that's good. Last, <laughs> last, last well peak, done. is it? Last peak, mate. Yeah. Oh, wow. Cool. Yeah. This is a tough section. My feet are so slippy. Ah. Oh. A twist or a fall on this bit is the worst thing. Oh. <laughs> Right, it's been hard, this is the toughest uh, uh, beginning to all of them but we've just hit these steps which will get us up pretty quick and it's not too sharp but uh, yeah, ankles are starting to go because at some point I keep thinking I'm going to be a ne the next medic Someone's getting these, like, these people have to walk past me and just be like that Medic! And then just upload it to the YouTube channel and that's me, full circle Full circle medic Yeah. 
you're getting your ankle wedged between these bits. My word. Calm, mate, keep calm. <laughs> Carry on. Campaign against living miserably. Linking bio. <laughs> we'll talk about that in a bit. That's what I'm looking forward to. Oh gosh, is this like a chat? Yeah, just is, this is the third of the three peaks, so this is the last. Oh, well done. The last mountain. Barefoot? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's incredible. <laughs> That's torturous. I'll tell you anything. <laughs> I'll tell you anything. Yeah. Oh, oh, so how far we got to go, is it? Oh, you're you're what did you get as far as you can see there? Is there much of oh. a nightmare after that? No, it's, it's like this all the way, really, to that bit there. Oh, good. And then it's. It's not that bad along that top bit. You've got to say that. Right? Yeah. So, right, find your shoes. Oh, it's just a charity. We're just doing the three peaks. This is the last one, so oh. once I get to there, I can put my shoes on and we're done. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, that's just really well good. What are you doing it for? Uh, campaign Can't against it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Good effort. Yeah. I know. Well, oh thanks. my God, I've gone all. Wait, we did Scofield Pike. Was it last last week? Last no, the week. weekend before, was it? Yeah, the top of that one was tough. Like it was a bit yeah. jaggedy. Oh, it's very, you know? very oh, no. jaggedy up there, How isn't are you it? Doing yeah. No. Well, they're hurting. My feet are swollen. Like they're swollen compared to my how my feet normally are. Ankles are swollen, but there's any pain in it, it'll go. Yeah. Oh, well, well yeah. done. Yeah, thanks, Amazing. girls. Amazing. Yeah. Well done. Oh, that's proper made me go. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were just a nutter before. <laughs> now we know you really are. <laughs> <laughs> There's all these work up battlefield and none of it in the bedroom. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you right? That was one of the hardest sections so far on your feet and that really difficult, but and that guy, the guy just said 30 minutes for civilians, uh, probably 15 minutes for a Power Ranger, ex Power Ranger like myself. And like I've always said, I'm a fighter, not a lover. These sharp bits, these would end the civilian. Most civilians, this bit would be where you'd be celebrating the end because you're going back down. Not me. Not the rainbow warrior, <laughs> the rainbow power ranger, yeah? That's how, I, that's how I dance. They're all there in single coloured uniform to me, rainbow. <laughs> You'll be right, mate, we're there. Hey, <laughs> the final push to the summit and bar any serious injury, I think we're going to get to the top. Ah, we're going to get to the top. Uh, and this is for the bear your soul and heal. This, what the, this is what this, this journey is called. Because it's a bear your soul and heal. Spelt like this, I'll put it on the screen. And that's to encourage you to talk to anyone. You don't have to suffer on your own, you don't have to suffer in silence. I'll leave some numbers below to people that you can talk to if you want. Talk to your friends, talk to your family. Create a little sock puppet with little button eyes on it and talk to that if you have to get carted away. It's at a funny farm. But just talk, open up, bear your soul and heal. He's quite sharp underfoot on here, but we've got these big slabs that you can uh, you can get on. Slabatha Christie. Not right away, mate. <laughs> no, not really. Yeah, sorry. That was a joke, but that tired. Yeah, anyone going up hills got right. Got right away, and he was like, he just did like he didn't want to move. I thought, oh, that backfired. And backfired because his dad's looking at me like he's going to go for me. This rugby tackle is off edge. <laughs> I was going to go mate, I feel like that puma and it, you know, that mountain lion, he could go. Oh my god, I can't believe it. I did not see this in my stars when we got to the top of uh, Ben Nevis. No.
Line you up, break your leg up, way up that little bit there. <laughs> Good deal. There you go. Three peaks barefoot. Four. Have it. Have it. <laughs> Loads of flies as well. Marty McFly. <laughs> Well done, mate. Oh, get in. <laughs> well in, mate. Well nice in. One, mate. Support team. Amazing nice effort, one. Mate. Amazing effort. <laughs> nice job. one. Woohoo! Look at Q, though. Look at Q for the top. Look. Alton Towers. Let's be having you, Marty McFly. Loads of Marty McFlies. There you go. I've done it. Done it. Three peaks barefoot. Didn't think it would happen. I'll be honest with you. There's many a time I thought that wasn't going to happen. It has happened. Couldn't be happier. Joey D's done a sterling effort of support team and cameraman. Not too bad, not too bad. We're finally foot report. <laughs> dusty. Just looks like some sort of dusty Springfield caveman sort of whatever it is. Let's get down. Let's get down. Get shoes back on. These flies are a bit annoying. And um, there's no point in me barefooting any more of this. Look. <laughs> We are done. Wow! Yes! Ah! Flies of Manelli. Flouch! Right. Here we go. So, he's flying ants, whatever they are. Right, we're gonna just grab, get shoes on. We're gonna get down this path. This is where we came all the way up here, but we're gonna go the miners' track and we're gonna go for a proper swim, and that'll be our, that'll be our re reward for doing that. Just swollen. I'm just bruised really, that's all. In between toes, starting to cut up a little bit, but oh, too bad. Right, that's it. We're gonna leave it here. We've come down. This is the last body of water before we finish. Shows your knuckle, Joey D. Big up, Joey D. The support team for the support. Big up yourself, mate. That was a right effort. Thank you very much. Thank you to everybody who sponsored. I'm just going to give you a little, a quick background as to why, how this came about. It's called the Bear Your Soul and Heal Challenge. There's a play on the words there, you'll get it. And it's just to encourage seagull. It's encourage seagulls. And it's to encourage mainly men, but just anybody. Just if you're feeling a bit alone or a bit despondent, anything like that. If you've got any problems whatsoever, bear your soul talk to someone anybody if i'll leave some links below for the samaritans or uh, whatever it is downstairs just use that if you've got no one else to talk to use that if you do talk to your wife talk to your family talk to your friends break the stigma there shouldn't be a stigma around talking about mental health especially in men all those burly men I've, 95 percent of the people who watch my videos are, are guys so if you're listening guys and you're struggling don't struggle in silence. The other reason I'm doing this is a couple of people reached out to me, a couple of girls reached out to me and told me about their dad, Paul Warburton is his name, who was a fan of my channel and used to go out in the woods and they sent me pictures of him and he had one of my t-shirts on and stuff and they told me that he sadly passed away. This was a while ago, this was before lockdown, before the first lockdown. They told me he passed away and they said that at the funeral they wanted to collect some money and put it towards something and they asked me if, if they could give it to a charity of my choice or something like that because he was a fan so this is for this is for that and everybody at the funeral who was given my just giving page and who sponsored me this is for you and uh, this is in memory the whole video is in memory of Paul Warburton so rest in peace brother it, sorry it's taken so long to everyone who sponsored me Covid happened. I was training then Covid happened and we couldn't get out and I had a lot on so this is the first chance I've got and we did it. I didn't think I was going to do it but we did it and we're here. <sighs> Namaste. Thanks for watching. <laughs> oh yes. Oh, fade to black.